This isn't a prank. He just happened to get it on camera this time. She does that all the time. Many swirlers drink their boyfriend's pee. Now, I know black women are going to look at this woman here and say she's mixed. No, she's black. She even has the characteristics of a swirler. So you mean to tell me that she did not smell piss? She did not question why was her liquid lighter than his? Because his looked like beer. So I'm assuming that she thought that was beer if it was a prank because it looks like they tried to match up the color. But his piss wasn't dark enough. She drunk his piss. The only reason why she laughed, spit it out, because that's not funny. He's kissing a woman who is drinking his piss. Pissy mouth. A disgusting, unsanitary relationship. Like two animals mating in the wild. Very unsanitary. But it's your typical swirling relationship. Now, I do believe a lot more Mr. Cleans will attempt to date black women. And not because they actually like black women, but because they see how easy it is to humiliate them. Have them the butt of the jokes every time the camera is rolling or they're in front of his family members when they play pin the tail on the donkey these black girlfriends come in handy not just in bed but in everyday life for mr clean because there's nothing she won't do i'm not giving my girlfriend piss to drink he's comfortable with giving her piss this is not the first time you can tell by the body language she did not get up and move off the couch away from him she leaned up laughed with a mouthful of hot stinking piss i could not Give my girlfriend. I mean, who would think of something like that? Who thinks of something like that? I'm going to give my girlfriend my piss for her to drink. That shows you how much she really, really cares about her. and She doesn't see it. Because it's only a nut to him, but it means the world to you. He only sees the swirler as a nut. Let that have been a brother who gave his girlfriend piss to drink. Whether that piss was from him, the dog. I would not be surprised if that piss in her mouth is dog piss. Cat piss. I would not be surprised if that's not even his piss. His urine. That's waste. So he kisses her every day in the mouth, hugs her while she frequently 
drinks his piss. She does this often. The way she is acting shows that. She should be freaked out, but she's not because this is normal, regular in their relationship. Again, black women are going to try to argue that she's not black. She's a biracial. No, she's black. You know what was a dead giveaway? Her drinking that piss. Knowing it was piss. See, Swirling channels can do videos on this to show their swirling audience. Hey, all men can be disgusted, just not one demographic. But when you constantly promote one demographic, one group, one type of men, then when they're in the spotlight, like this story right here and other stories, Chad Wheeler, Tom Hanks' son. You have to explain this. And these swirling channels act like they don't see it. They act like they don't see this problem with Mr. Clean and the swirlers. They're not compatible. Every time you turn around, it's some fuck shit. It's some fuckery between the two. I just found out that Robert De Niro is no longer with his black wife. This has been going on for about two years or a little bit over two years. I did not know. I knew he had a black wife, but I thought they were still together. I don't follow them, but I assume because I would think something like that would go viral. Maybe it did go viral two years ago, but anywho, I just found out today. Then I thought to myself, damn, my God. Nothing is going right in Swirl Land. You see all of this promotion. You see all of these videos. You see all of these seminars. You see all of these books. You see all of these classes to get Mr. Clean. You see the colors and crybabies do it. I wouldn't be surprised if this swirling wildebeest right here was a colorism crybaby because, you know, everyone has to have a struggle nowadays. People can't say, I'm going to dust myself off and try again. I'm going to take accountability and responsibility for my actions and the outcome of my life. People don't do that often anymore. Everyone has a struggle, but even the colorism crybabies are now promoting Mr. Clean. He's the man to be with. So my question to the colorism crybabies, my question to the swirling colorism crybabies, because colorism crybabies and swirling is one of the same. So if Mr. Clean is the go-to man, why is it that stories like this continuously pop up? It hasn't been two weeks. It hasn't been two weeks since Tom Hanks' son and that swirling wildebeest went viral. Has it been two weeks? It hasn't been six months since Chad Wheeler. I don't think it's been six months yet. Then the other swirling horror stories that happens in between, right? You had the, the sailor guy, the sailor man throw his wife overboard. The wife, the mother of his children, a swirling black woman, threw her overboard because she was cheating, probably cheating with another black man. But here on social media, he's 
supposed to be the go-to guy for black women who just can't seem to get a black man, who feel as though their, their hue color is too dark for black men. Black men just want lighter hue women. So, you know, these color and crybabies are going to have to go to Mr. Clean to procreate and give birth to the same babies they're crying about, blaming black men about. It's dysfunctional. It makes no sense. None of their swirling relationships make any sense. And this video right here with her drinking his urine, his stinky piss, his waste, his waste. Do you know what piss is? Piss is liquid that you drink that goes through your body. Your body filters it out. And the piss is the waste. That's why it stinks. It's a toxin. It's not to be drinking. It's not to be toyed around with. Show me a brother on social media who gave his black girlfriend or his black wife, his black fiance, piss in a wine glass. And she drunk it and A, there wasn't a fight. B, he's not dead. C, he's not in jail. D, she's not exposing his personal information on social media. Mr. Clean got it good. He knows that he can go out, get him a black girlfriend and do whatever he wants to her, whatever it is. See, that's why Mr. Clean dates black women. See, in return, black women believes she's making black men jealous. She thinks because she's with Mr. Clean, she's making black men jealous. Mr. Clean is with her because she will allow him to do anything sexually. She will be the butt of the jokes at Christmas parties in front of his family reunions get together when they play pin the tail on the donkey. They tell his black girlfriend, bring your black ass over here and stand there while we play pin the tail on the donkey. Hey, Jesse, go get your kids. Go get the kids. Go get the grandkids. We, we, we get ready to play pin the tail on the donkey. So not only is he sleeping with her, he has her drinking his piss, probably catching his bowel movements. The swirler does not say no. No is not in the swirler's vocabulary. See, Mr. Clean, he knows that he can slut her out. He can tell her to do anything and she will say yes. Majority of these relationships, it's fetish. It's fetish. That's why majority of these interracial couples videos whether it's on youtube tiktok the black woman is always doing something stupid your woman represents you you represent your woman anytime you have your woman on social media it doesn't matter if if it's viral or not drinking urine you don't respect her That's why I said this is not a prank. This is the real deal, holy feel. If these swirling channels kept it a buck, they wouldn't hear from many brothers. But because you guys have been lying, telling false stories about your relationships, your romantic, quote unquote, relationships, with Mr. Clean and it's not that. There's tons of these stories, tons of them. 
And because you guys aren't telling the truth, you look bad. You're looking for cover. Because Mr. Clean is doing the same exact things to you that you claim the black man is doing. However, you cannot find me a video. Maybe one. Maybe one. Probably not even that. Of a black man pranking his girlfriend, his wife, his fiance into drinking his or his dogs or her dogs, her cat piss. It may it may have happened one or two times in a black relationship. Maybe, but this is the regular when it comes to Mr. Clean and these swirlers. This is a regular day in their relationship, whether they want to admit it or not. They're not going to be together forever. Now she's going to be remembered as the, the female who drunk Mr. Clean's piss. And I bet you, I bet you after her and Mr. Clean break up, they will not make it past this year. There's no way in hell he respects her and he's having her drink his piss. That's waste. But mark my words, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Once they break up, she will get her a black man. She's going to get her a black man. There's a black man right now, several of them waiting in the shadows. Waiting in the shadows for her and this Mr. Clean to break up. Even though she has went viral, even though she has went viral. <laughs> even though she's viral drinking piss. There's a black man out there somewhere saying she deserves better. So I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm signing out. Peace.